Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a unique vlog of going to the park and the breakfast coffees and omelette wrap and iced coffee that we made and a stir fry noodles. So starting off the weekend by having a fun day at our local park with the kids. We had loads of fun and I just think it's nice to include something like this because you get to see Marshall the happy little kids playing and having a great time. It's been quite limiting what we can do with Covid. The things are always just having to open up and trying to get a bit back to normal but the kids will always love the park. The weather's not been the best here in Scotland this summer but we're just trying to make the most of it while we have dry weather and um, before it gets really really cold so this is us having an epic day out at the park so that evening when we came back I made a really quick easy stir fry noodles so it's a total shortcut so it's packet um, stir fry noodle mix and it's really really simple and straightforward so we just want to saute that in a hot wok and then you add in some garlic and ginger paste, either fresh or from a jar. Mix that all together. And then you're going to add in your soy sauce. So about a tablespoon of the garlic and ginger and a tablespoon of soy sauce, but you can adjust this to your preference. And then just all of your usual preferred seasoning. This is chilli flakes I'm adding in black pepper have a tiny pinch of salt, you don't need too much salt because there's a lot of salt in the soy sauce so give that a really really good mix, we don't want to overcook the veg, we want it to still have that crunch and some Thai sweet chilli sauce or sweet chilli sauce um, just a wee drop of that and some sriracha sauce or some hot chilli sauce depending on how you like how spicy you like your food. Now you can obviously put in real chicken and cook that and it takes a wee bit of time so um, I actually added in breaded chicken, just cooked it in the air fryer and popped it in, I'll show you that in a minute. I just added in one bag of ready to wok noodles, bought these from Aldi's, same with the vegetables. You can obviously add in more but for our small family this was enough portion for us and I wanted to finish it. Um, as we made it so these are the two the little chicken cutlets with breadcrumbs and um, because I didn't have any chicken made or cooked I just needed something really really quick so I just cooked that in the air fryer for about 10 minutes and then popped that into the stir fry just so it coats all the marinade so it was totally cooked so it doesn't take that long and added in a little bit more of the stir fry that was from the pack and added in some frozen coriander or you can add in fresh and if you taste it, have a little taste and make sure it's to your liking and you can adjust at this stage and if you're happy you plate up and just top with some sesame seeds and it is so nice, so healthy the vegetables were still crunchy the noodles were nice, it was just such a nice combination of textures and it was so quick so the next morning I wanted to show you our breakfast, this is like my favourite coffee to have. So these are beanies, this is supposed to be orange flavoured coffee, it doesn't taste orange um, but it's like really low calorie. Um, so I've added in a little bit of plant sugar and um, low calorie syrup and just kind of quarter filled the cup with hot water and you can either just add in milk at this stage or what I have is a milk frother so I love this, it makes it feel like coffee from a coffee shop, it's so tasty and it's so quick and easy so just put this in straight to the, into the coffee cup and give it a little mix I love this foam so I'm trying to get every little piece of the foam out and this is optional, you can add in some sprinkles or you can add in dust on some cocoa powder and that's a little bit of the vanilla syrup. I 
and that's the finished product, it's so nice and this is me moving on to the omelette so all you do is cut your vegetables of choice so all I did was chop up some spring onions, tomato, red onion and um, chilli, like a whole green chilli but you can avoid that if you want for two people I added in four eggs and a drop of milk and then you just season it according to how you want so salt, pepper, chilli flakes and this is garlic powder I'm trying to get out of the tub so putting that in you can obviously add in fresh garlic or whatever you like but I think this is just quick and tasty also I'm adding in um, mixed herb seasoning I think this is Italian herb and um, that just gives it a really really nice unique different taste so adding in plenty of oil coating the bottom of the pan really well then I'm adding in about half of this mixture and when it kind of cooks and kind of sets then I'm just going to top this with a frozen tortilla wrap and I'm just trying to press it on firmly so when I do turn it over, which you'll see was a bit of a disaster, turn it over really really carefully and then I'll cook the other side of the wrap and it's just such a simple, easy, tasty and healthy breakfast as a way of getting veggies in and it's super filling. This was for my husband, normally for myself I add in a little bit of cheese and I put in some sriracha in the middle, my husband didn't, doesn't like that. Um, but it makes it really really nice, that's how I like it, so if you ever do make this you should try, you should try with mushrooms, um, whatever vegetables you have, even if you've got leftovers from the night before, even if you have a boiled potato, chop that up, put that in here, make it into a really filling Spanish omelette type thing. So this is me serving it to my husband and you can see there to the left is a nice coffee that he wanted. So I'll show you that recipe next. Also so easy, so filling. Sometimes you just want to save some money and not be spending too much outside the house. So here's how I made that. So again just use my Beanie's chocolate orange coffee or sorry orange coffee, I'm calling it a chocolate orange and just a one and a half teaspoons of sugar for my hubby, he's got a bit more of a sweet tooth and I kind of quarter filled it with hot water, you really should let this brew and let it completely cool down, I didn't have time um, because I had to serve it to my husband um, and I just coated the glass with the low calorie a vanilla syrup, it's only like 13 calories per um, use. Fill the glass with loads of ice cubes. When you're in a rush that kind of cools the coffee mixture down as well. And it is so refreshing when you have this in the summer if you want something to keep you going but you don't want anything hot. This is just such a nice um, pick me up add in, this is um, almond milk I'm adding in, this adds such a nice flavour compared to adding normal milk. Um, so I didn't fill it up all the way to the top so you could stop here, put in a straw that's absolutely fine but what I did was to make it a bit more bougie I added in um, some whipped, the kind of frothed milk just for a nice kind of touch. You can see it's hot, I kind of did get it hot and cold all mixed up but um, just added a nice touch as if you're in a coffee shop so you could stop here again but I added in some chocolate sprinkles why not look at that it looks magnificent and it tastes so so good it's nice when the colours settle but when you, it's really good to give it a good mix so everything's really really well incorporated when you're taking sips this is me serving to my lovely hubby You can see that, look at that, it looks beautiful as everything mixes together and on a summer's day this is so refreshing. And that's my husband back to eating his breakfast so 
I really hope you like this guys. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.